Who have I come in at? I think he looks like a jungle. Looks like a jungle. Tell me more. It's very, very overgrown. Lots of green, green leaves. Look around you. What else do you see? I see a, wa a waterfall. Mm -hmm. How do you get to the waterfall? It's it's in it's, it's within the greenery. Mm -hmm. See yourself walking towards that waterfall and notice. <clears throat> if you feel that you have a body there. What do you sense? I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. The observer of this waterfall? Is it physical? Yes. Mm -hmm. But it's it's different. It's, it's like I'm not the observer. It's mm -hmm. like I'm observing. Mm -hmm. Observing. Very alien-like. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Tell me more about that. It's got a long kind of face and um, almost like little knob things on the head of the skull very lizard mm -hmm. like very warrior like scaly skin mm -hmm. Does this being have any clothing? No. Mm -hmm. Are you observing? Yes. Mm -hmm. So let's see what else happens. What does this being do? It's like I'm following it behind mm -hmm. the waterfall. Is it going behind the waterfall? Yeah. All right, let's see what's behind the waterfall. What happens next? Describe everything you see. It's like a cavern that leads to More openings. Mm -hmm. It's lit. It's like a home. It, it's like the way they live. Mm -hmm. Do you see more than this one bee? No. But they're around. Mm -hmm. What do you feel from these beings? Just a Observing. Mm hmm So what happens next? Where does this being go? Taking me further inside. Mm -hmm. And leads me to a stone kind of water thing. Mm -hmm. This water thing, is this where they keep their water? No, it seems ritualistic. Mm -hmm. Seems like a place where, where like the elders gather and, and rituals take place. Mm -hmm. 
Allow yourself now to see that ritual. This is a place where the elders gather and seek into the future. Mm -hmm. Look into the future. How is that done? Through the water in the stone. What is it used for? The seeking into the future. The species. Mm -hmm. Why does the species need protection? Because they live a very simple way of life. Mm -hmm. These elders, are they male or female? Do they have genders? Predominantly is male, there's some females. Mm -hmm. They all sit in a circle of, with the stone thing in the middle. Mm -hmm. The stone things. So high is a bit unusual. Tell me about that. What's unusual about it? Everyone sits down on the floor sort of like cushions and then the stone thing is like in the middle it feels like fountain sort of like a fountain mm -hmm. and how do they read the information from the water one of them reads reads the information mm-hmm What happens next? I don't know. They use the information. Mm -hmm. So let's close that scene. Allow yourself to close that scene and let's go to the next important scene in that same lifetime. Be there now. Flying in the sky. Mm -hmm. How do you fly? They're made up of these made up of these contraptions with wood and a material, and there's there's a few of them. Who's flying? Me. Mm -hmm. Are you physical? Yes. What do you look like? Looks like me. Mm -hmm. Where are you flying to? Out to the sun. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. It seems like a practice session. Mm-hmm. Practice flying? Yes. Mm-hmm. Where is it that you're going today? Doesn't seem anywhere particular. Mm-hmm. Just out to the sun. Enjoying the scenery, which is the sea and the sun setting. Mm -hmm. Where do you visit? There's another island out to sea. Tell me more. It doesn't seem like there's anyone there, but it's just somewhere that we go to. Mm -hmm. 
Who is the we that we speak of? Who goes with you? There are others there and I'm leading them. Mm -hmm. Take a look around you. What do they look like? The same. Almost like scaly with nobule things on their skull. Long fingers, three fingers with a thumb and long fingernails. The skin's kind of like a dark green. Very strange mouths. Mm -hmm. Almost like a, a suction. Mm -hmm. No no teeth. But there looks like a, a tongue. What do the eyes look like? Normal round people shape eyes. Mm -hmm. What do you look like? Look at your hands. I can't tell. Mm -hmm. Where is it that you're going to today? You said an island? It's practicing. Mm -hmm. Practicing for a vent of war or mm -hmm. some kind of battle. Who are you battling against? It seems like seems like um like the, it's like the Palladian races. They've got long blonde hair and flowy kind of gowns and that's that's what I'm What do, where do you see them? That's the image that I see. Mm -hmm. Those are the ones that you are battling against? It's, there's conflict between us. Mm -hmm. They seem more advanced than us. Mm -hmm. Let's find out what it is that you are battling against. I'm going to count from three back to one. When I get to number one, we will be at the origin of this battling. Taking a deep breath in now, three, going through time and space, two, to find the origin of these battles, and one, be there now. Where are you? You're on a field. It's almost like marshland. Mm -hmm. Are you alone or with others? I'm with others. Mm -hmm. What's happening? We're battling these creatures, well, the, well, the humans, humanoids. Mm -hmm. It seems, I get the feeling it's, we're battling over ways of life. Mm -hmm. What are you using to battle? We've, we've got primitive weapons, but they don't seem to have them. Mm -hmm. What do they use to defend themselves against you? <laughs> it feels like magic, but it's, but it's more kind of their energy. Mm -hmm. They're very, they're tall and, and they're powerful. We're quite short compared to them. Mm -hmm. Very, the presence is very overpowering. You can't, I can't tell whether they're male or female. They look male, mm -hmm. but they've got elf-like features, so they could be female. It's hard to tell. Mm -hmm. And when you are battling with them, how do you feel towards them? 
What emotions come up? It's it feel I feel like we've been trained mm -hmm. to do this. I feel like there is no thought behind it. We've just got to do this as part of what we've got to do. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to advance the scene and let's see what the outcome is. What happens? Mm, they overpower us. We die. Mm -hmm. That's far too powerful. But I can't. I can't understand what to see what, for what end. Mm -hmm. Besides the fact we were just sent to do it. Yes. So as that lifetime ends, what happens to you, your spirit? Where do you go? Away from the planet, out back in space. Mm -hmm. Let's follow the spirit. Let's follow the, the journey and tell me what happens in space. It's almost like I'm a star, just out there and going somewhere. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's anywhere particular, just out. What do you see? Space. Mm -hmm. What do you feel? Not sure. So we're going to close that scene now. And we're going to now go to another lifetime that is affecting the lifetime of Nilesh. Close that scene. I'm going to count from five back to one. When we get to number one, we will be at that other lifetime. Five. Going back through time and space to another time, another place. Four, three, allow the images to come. Two, and one, be there now. Where are you? I'm, I'm a monk, mm. or looking at a monk. Mm -hmm. Very strange, it's like a long stone structure in the middle of nowhere, just standing on it. What is the structure you're standing on? There's nothing around it, it's just a long, tall stone structure, and I'm standing on it, but I don't understand why. Mm -hmm. What do you look like? Fear. Mm -hmm. I understand. It's fear. It's to conquer my fear of heights. Conquer my fear. That's why I was placed there. Mm -hmm. So, by standing on this very tall structure, this fear is being addressed. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's hard not to when you're on a tall stone structure mm -hmm. with nothing around you, mm -hmm. my feet barely fit on it. What is all around you? It just looks like rocks and mass it's just massive caverns that, that doesn't make any sense. Mm -hmm. I don't know how I, it's impossible to climb up it or to get there, but I'm there. Mm -hmm. I'm having to learn about fear and how to control it and how to conquer it. How are you doing? Sometimes it's overwhelming and sometimes it's not. Mm -hmm. So let's see what happens with this very important exercise. 
Hay chamba. I fly. Mm -hmm. How does that feel? I didn't know I could. Mm -hmm. I didn't know I had the ability to fly. But it's taking that leap. Where do you go when you fly? I'm free anywhere I want. Mm -hmm. What does that teach you? That if I take the leap, I set myself free, mm -hmm. and therefore leads to joy and happiness. How can that lesson be applied to the current lifetime? Don't think, just do. Mm -hmm. Is this monk influencing the life of Nilesh? No, was me in the past. Mm -hmm. I'm now on a, on a cliff edge. Mm -hmm. I feel like I've got someone with me, but I can't see them properly. So I'd like for you to use your knowing. Connect. Okay, yes. Who is that? Very much feels like the present day Dalai Lama. Mm hmm It's it's like I'm being um judged upon my actions. It's almost it's almost like he's got a clipboard and it's a tick box. So mm -hmm. <laughs> So let's find out what it is that he's judging on. What does he have to say? The purpose seems to be to be universal, mm -hmm. but I don't understand the context. Mm -hmm. So let's ask. I'd like for you to go ahead and connect with him. His words will be your thoughts. What is it that you are judging Nilesh on? To have, to have no bounds, to have no fear, not just on this planet, but anywhere. Mm -hmm. How is he doing? He's, top to, he's a top student. Mm -hmm. He's learning well. He's very young. He's only 23. Mm -hmm. What did he come here to learn? To not be bound by anything or anyone. What about his responsibilities? He's young. He doesn't have any. Mm -hmm. What are the words of wisdom? that you would like to give this young man? Mind over matter. Mm -hmm. Try. Have faith. Find your joy. And you can do this. So what does he need to do next? We're training him. Mm -hmm. He has a bigger role to play in the universe. He needs to be ready. He wonders why he came. He's going from planet to planet mm -hmm. and learning these lessons. He's come here to, to learn about fear and control and is here to learn. But he's still very young. Mm -hmm. 
What does he do with responsibilities when it comes to family? He has none. Mm -hmm. Not here while we're training him. Very good. This place where you are, where is this? It's like a barren rock planet. Mm -hmm. Where is he from originally? Where has he come from? Source. From Source. Is he still connected to Source? Always. Mm-hmm. He s sits next to Source on the left hand mm -hmm. side. He would like to have a conversation with Source, his father. Would you take him there, please? Source is not allowing that. Ah, why is that? He's been sent to do a job. He cannot have connection to Source until that job is done. Mm -hmm. What happens when we disconnect from Source like that? He's fine. He doesn't need the connection. He doesn't. No. He's powerful enough not to need the connection. Mm -hmm. This is why I sent him. Why is that? I need my warriors here mm -hmm. on planet Earth. He's been sent. Who sent him? Source. What is the reason that at this time warriors are needed on planet Earth? What's happening to planet Earth? She's changing. Mm -hmm. Gaia's changing. Tell me more. Need to be ready. Human beings need to change. They need to be ready. What is this thing that we need to be ready for? For Gaia. Mm -hmm. She's changing. She's evolving. Mm -hmm. Humans aren't ready. I've sent my warriors here mm -hmm. to help, to guide, to teach, to keep the vibrational level high. Will that help? Yes. Mm -hmm. So what in particular is this warrior doing on Earth at this time? He's the brightest light. Mm -hmm. And as the brightest light, does he have responsibility? Yes. Mm -hmm. What is his mission here? As this light? Shine his light to be as tall as possible. Mm -hmm. In what capacity does he need to do that? To be himself. To be himself. Yes. Does he do this in relationships or in a job? does he shine his light? It doesn't matter. doesn't matter. No. So no matter where he goes, he's shining. Yes. Mm -hmm. He's the tallest of angels. Mm -hmm. Did this tall angel, has he been on earth before? Many lifetimes. Many lifetimes. So in this lifetime, he is now here to shine his light. He is here to stand tall mm -hmm. on planet Earth and be the beacon, be the light. Be the light. Almost like the source of light. Mm -hmm. Now, by being the source of light, does he need to do anything for other people to help them? His job is to help, mm -hmm. to support. Mm -hmm. He doesn't understand that even when people are with him, they change. They do. So just by being in his presence, there's something about him that makes him change? Yes. Mm -hmm. He's favorite. Favor. 
He's favored. Mm. Mm-hmm. There are many of them on here on planet Earth, but I sent him. Mm-hmm. Good. Well, this angel, this very tall beacon of light, is very interested in what is happening on Earth. He's heard about an event. As he should be. Mm-hmm. This is what I sent him for. Mm-hmm. Can you tell me a little bit about this event that he's here for? Earth is going to change. She's going to go back to being the glorious green, leafy forest that she should have always been. Mm -hmm. The structures we see will no longer be here. What will happen to these structures? It will change. Mm -hmm. Almost like they'll be abandoned. Mm -hmm. Will she change her form in any way? Or just become greener? She'll be lighter, Mm -hmm. happier, more joyful. So does that mean that she will be changing her frequency? How will she be changing? We're taking her back to what she should have been Mm -hmm. rather than what she is now. So all of these beings that are on her right now, all the inhabitants... They're ignorant. They don't understand what they're doing. Mm I see them. I see them living their lives, unaware what's happening around them. Very selfish. They don't understand. Some of them don't want to understand. Mm -hmm. So for those those, those of those that can see, what do they see around them? The changes that they're experiencing. It's difficult for them to see. Mm. They are too engrossed in their human life. Okay. They have no connection to Gaia. There is a disconnection with her. We need to re-establish the connection. We need to make Gaia joyful again. Mm -hmm. We need to make her happy again. And she's never going to be that here in this world when we've got human beings ignorant. She calls for them and they don't hear it because they're in these concrete houses and concrete jungles where they're disconnected. They've forgotten the most simplest things. Walking on grass and making that connection. Some humans are so far engrossed in their lives they have forgotten the simple ways of life. Are there any that have remembered? Some have, but many haven't. Mm -hmm. So today, what message do we need to give to the humans? Change. Do we need to abandon the concrete jungle? Yes. Mm -hmm. You need to let it go. How are we to live in a society that is built around sustaining our lives within the concrete jungles? It's because I made you believe that this is the way you're meant to live. Mm -hmm. But you're so surrounded by concrete, you don't even feel Gaia anymore. It's open spaces, there's green greenery being around in untouched parts where she's, they're still there, she's still there. Mm -hmm. 
You said you're going to be able to change Gaia. Right now, Gaia is very polluted. She's dying. Mm -hmm. How will you be able to help her? She's transcending mm -hmm. to a new earth. This one will die. It will be rock. There will, there will be nothing that can live on here on, on this planet, nothing. Mm -hmm. It will be like a floating rock in space. Mm -hmm. What about this new earth you speak about? It's joyful. It's happy. It's going to be trying to learn to live like this again. Mm -hmm. So the humans also are wondering, how will they be part of this new earth? Will they need to transcend? Some will choose to come here, mm -hmm. and some won't. Mm -hmm. Some will die. I, I get the feeling it's a handful, not many. Mm -hmm. Many will just choose to die and move on. Mm -hmm. There seems to be a big... There seems to be a big... The illusion is strong here. And people are still living the illusion. In, in their houses, with their TVs, with the Wi-Fi. Ignorant to it all. They can't even sense anymore. They have lost these abilities. So is there any hope for these people? No, I feel... I feel like, no, they, they will just leave. Mm -hmm. There will be a handful that will come to Gaia, but they will already be ready for it. Mm -hmm. It's something they have chosen. They want to work with Gaia, with her energy, and support her to grow, to flourish. But it's... It's very few. Mm -hmm. Now these warriors that have come here to help with Gaia transcending. Their job is hard. Mm -hmm. There are many of them. What do these warriors roll? What do they need to do? The same as this one. To shine their light, to stand tall, to be that beacon mm -hmm. across the planet Earth. Just for Gaia? Or for other humans? To help them. To help them to ascend. Mm -hmm. Now, when you say ascending, it means without a body or with? With. With. How does that happen? How do we ascend with a body? You rainbow bridge. Mm -hmm. You will walk across a bridge. Some of these warriors will take you there. They will walk with you across the bridge. Mm -hmm. How does one know that they are a warrior? You know. You're strong, you're courageous. Very warrior-like. Mm -hmm. You know you're in the presence of one. Because you feel subdued. You feel different. Mm -hmm. You're fascinated by them. You can't stop staring. Some of you are mesmerized by them. And yet they are kind and caring and loving and give. Now this warrior, Nalesh, seems to give and give and give, but never receive back. That's the way I taught him. This is what I expect from him. He's powerful. There's enough energy to deal with this and more. Plenty. 
he's a powerful being within himself, but being with Gaia is is it's almost like a it's a bit like a battery pack mm-hmm. in some ways. But it's in this society he needs to have a career, a job, and he seems that he has a blockage in abundance. It's not needed. He doesn't need it. That's not what I sent him for. Mm-hmm. He sits next to me. I sent him to be himself, to be the shining beacon. Mm-hmm. And he's doing that. He's he's like a... The best way I can describe it is like a, a tall light beacon above the earth. It's like a big totem pole and he's v- vibrating his light across the earth. And in turn, switching every single one of you on. Mm-hmm. So we're recharging you, mm-hmm. showing you that you have light. He shows you. So he's transmitting. Yes. This energy to everyone automatically. Yes, his place is here mm-hmm. on planet Earth. I sent him. This is his job. Will he ever be in partnership with anyone else to do this? He has people around that support him. Mm -hmm. They too are aware he's different. Mm -hmm. And they support him. Will he meet anyone who he could be in more of a partnership with? There are many of them. Yes that he could be compatible with. Mm-hmm. How does he meet them? It's not his time yet. Mm-hmm. I need him to complete his job. Mm-hmm. I need him to complete his mission. How long will this mission take? As long as it takes. Mm-hmm. He can be there for as long as he wants to be there. How is it that he connects with you, Source? He's kind of like an advisor. Mm-hmm. We discuss things. We discuss ideas, issues. He keeps me balanced. Mm-hmm. I value, value his input, that's why he sits on the left side of me, he has a throne, he knows this. How is he in comparison to other angels? He is Metatron. Mm -hmm. He is the angel of all angels. They know him. He knows them. Mm -hmm. But it's important to keep them separate. Otherwise, they won't do their job. Mm. It's important for them to be separate, not to know each other. To continue being the beacons I need them to be. So each one of these angels has a different role to play. Yes. Mm -hmm. Each one has special gifts, special skills. Mm -hmm. What What is this angel's skills? Courage, Mm -hmm. empathy, love. And when this angel sleeps... He forgets. Mm. He he forgets that he is an angel. Mm -hmm. He forgets that he is in gold. Mm -hmm. He is in gold. Does he visit when he, this body sleeps? many places Mm -hmm. he works outside of his body when he's sleeping he doesn't know Mm -hmm. he doesn't know this i sent him to different places he's very curious about different races different beings as he should be he has been to many different races Mm -hmm. he has experienced different races has he been these races he needed to learn this Mm -hmm. in order to learn about different races. He needed to know that it's just, we are all one. Mm -hmm. 
he's very curious about where these other races, aliens live, and if we are in space. He knows. He's been to them. Mm -hmm. He's just forgotten. Now, there is a difference between visiting these different places as a spirit and visiting these places as a human. He visits us whichever which, whichever race is on that planet. No one knows mm -hmm. this. Mm -hmm. People are not aware of who he is. People are not aware that I have sent him. It's, it's almost like... Once, deception is not the right word, but it, but it's almost like there's a, a shield around him with other people so they don't know so he can learn what he needs to learn and experience what he needs to experience he, under he understands that all races are one mm -hmm. and he needed to learn that by going to different planets and living at different different beings mm -hmm. many different beings different shapes, different sizes, different colours yeah. different traditions Mm -hmm. different rituals he needed to learn are there humans that live on other planets or are they different humanoids mm -hmm. palladians different beings mm -hmm. different shapes some you would not imagine hmm. why so many different types you are all my children. Mm -hmm. I love you all. No matter what. Sometimes there are things that you need to learn. Mm -hmm. There are some that are falling short. Mm -hmm. You need to try harder. Now, there are some who would say that there are those of the light and those of the dark. And you say they're all equal? They're all my children. Mm -hmm. Why would there be something that would be so dark? How would you recognize light if you didn't have darkness? Mm -hmm. How would you recognize right from wrong, left and right? So all of that is on purpose. Partly, mm -hmm. and partly you created it. Hmm. How did we create that? It was an experiment. And you wanted to see. You wanted to learn through experimenting. Mm -hmm. If we try this, what happens? You're very curious. Mm -hmm. If we try that, what happens? I allowed it. So when we say that we, are we talking about souls or I'm humans? Talking about you. Uh -huh. Everything has to be consented. Mm -hmm. I gave my blessing because I love you. You're like children, still curious, still exploring the universe with great wonder. And you learn. <laughs> You're like babies to me, you're like toddlers to me, some of you, some of you. And I'm not one to say no. Mm -hmm. Many would say that, that when we do bad things, that you're angry. No. It's just an experience you've chosen. Mm-hmm. You've forgotten about love. It's the most important thing. You, imbu you have been imbued with love. Every single one of you. Can you describe what true unconditional love is from Being source? Being with me. Mm -hmm. Being by my side. Being in my light. How does that feel? 
<laughs> you describe it as heaven. Mm. Yeah, it's like heaven. Mm -hmm. Now, when we finish our time in a human body, what happens to spirit? It depends. Some of you are in space, some of you choose to go somewhere else. Mm -hmm. <laughs> some of you come back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's like, hmm, more punishment. <laughs> <laughs> Why does that feel like punishment when we come back? Because it's hard here. Being on planet Earth is like being in a concrete block. Mm -hmm. Everything's blocked out. You think you're alone. Mm -hmm. Alone in a block by yourself. Why is it that so many feel so lonely when they come to Earth? And lost their connection to God. Mm -hmm. There are many that are lonely. Seeking. Yes. Something to be learned through loneliness. Mm -hmm. What can we learn through this loneliness? To this live with yourself. Can you explain that? To reach out. Is to learn to live with yourself. Who you are. Mm -hmm. To recognize the light within you and to reach out to touch someone and connect with your fellow light being mm -hmm. doesn't take much so once we feel lonely we really should be looking within connecting meditation helps mm -hmm. connect to the light within you mm -hmm. learn about it the flow of it, mm -hmm. how powerful it is, how actually you can make your light not only from within but make it make it bigger, make it outside of you, and then through through that, people will automatically want to connect with you. Mm -hmm. They see your light. That helps with the loneliness. Mm -hmm. So this one that we call Nilesh, he's been alone, and you say he's a beacon. Everything's meant to happen exactly as meant to be, mm -hmm. meant to happen, mm -hmm. in timing. In timing. So who are those that assist him here? It's going to be hard for him to match, mm -hmm. because of who he is. Mm -hmm. He, he already knows this. There are many, there are many that he's compatible with, but there are not many that are going to reach the level of understanding he is expecting. Mm -hmm. It's he's expecting the impossible. Now, is this just with Nilesh or some of the other warriors? Are they having the same problems? They answer to him. Mm -hmm. Although he doesn't know it. Mm -hmm. They communicate with one another through light. But again, he's not aware of it. Mm -hmm. So one of these warriors, would they be a good match for him? Or would it be too strong? It would just be a lesser light. Okay. And He's and it, it'd be, it would be poor. Mm -hmm. It would be a poor connection. Mm -hmm. I, can, I can see many, many angels, many warriors that I've sent here and it, it, it yes, it's He's compatible with many, but it's not going to be what he's looking for. Mm -hmm. So getting back to this main question that he has about this event, is there an event that's happening on Earth? 
I'm sending my light. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, through the sun. Mm-hmm. How will that affect the earth? It's going to change it. You're going to see more green than you've ever seen before. Mm-hmm. Will that affect the humans in any way? They will be confused. Mm-hmm. They won't understand. But there are some that will. Mm-hmm. How will this light affect the humans? And we're going to upgrade them. They're going to become more aware of their light, more spiritual. Mm-hmm. They're going to become the beings and the souls that they are without the shell, okay. without the exterior, without, without the pretenses. Mm-hmm. Would that mean that we are going to lose our bodies during this event? It's your choice. Mm-hmm. So some will? Some will choose to. Mm-hmm. Some prefer to be a light being. Mm-hmm. They're more comfortable with that. They're more happier with that. Mm-hmm. There will be those that transcend to that. Mm-hmm. And you will recognize them. It, it, it will be just like them having a name tag. Mm-hmm. And, you, and, and you have a visual representation of that being's body. Mm-hmm. Of what they, what they would like to project themselves as. That's funny. <laughs> so they'll be able to change their body into whatever they desire? Yeah, it's mm-hmm. a bit like very similar to what you see with the, with the elves on mm-hmm. planet Earth. Mm-hmm. More beautiful. More beautiful. Is this going to happen anytime soon? It'll happen when it happens. Okay, so we can't put a date to it. We can't say, for example, during this lifetime of Nilesh. Too many variables. Mm -hmm. It's hard to pinpoint one particular date. There's too much going on. There's still a lot of work that needs to be done. Mm -hmm. What kind of work needs to be done before this event happens. To get people out of these concrete blocks. Mm -hmm. So they need to be in nature in order for this to happen? Yes. Mm -hmm. You have... You have a film. You have a film called Avatar. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Very similar to the connection that they have in the film, Mm -hmm. to be at one with nature, to understand that you have the power to imbue power within a particular leaf, Mm -hmm. or the floor, or the grass, or a forest. Now will there be any events to force people out of these concrete? I cannot force you. It has to be our choice. Always. Mm-hmm. It saddens me. It's almost like you, you have blocked yourself in concrete and you have no, no stimulus to the outside world. It's like a coffin in many ways. Mm-hmm. There are those, for example... It hurts me to Mm -hmm. see that you do this to yourself. Mm -hmm. And how is all of this electronic stuff affecting? (laughs) You think it's real? Mm. There is no comparison. 
there's no comparison with the wave that I'm sending. Mm. <laughs> there, are, there are even races that are here to witness this. But also they th are this amusing because they think they can control it. You cannot control this. Mm. So these races that are here, are they just spectators? Some. Mm -hmm. Will it not affect them also? Yes. They... They don't understand the power of the light. They too have forgotten. Hmm. They too are there to witness, they too are there to change, but they feel that the, the things they are doing will control it, it will not control it. Mm. There's nothing they can do. The, it, it, they will be sidewipe with this light. Mm. They, they have no control. So these that are spectators, are they from different planets? Many. Different plus? Many. And they're here too? All over the universe. Mm -hmm. They've come to see that. But you're saying if they're here, they're going to be hit by it too, and changed. Yes, and and it would it will be the same. The intensity will be the same, mm -hmm. as much as it's going to change people on planet Earth. It will also change them in their spaceships, and they have no idea. Mm. Well, some of these be malfunctioning. They, they think they're advanced. Mm -hmm. They think they're an advanced race and because of their technologies they feel that they are advanced but they really misunderstand the light. Mm. They too in many ways have forgotten. So even though that they're advanced they're still learning? Just because you're advanced doesn't mean you can't you aren't being misled or have mm. been misled. Mm -hmm. They consider themselves to be intelligent beings, but they still have work to do. They still have some progression to make. Mm -hmm. Have the humans become advanced to the point where they are also visiting other places? Many of you are going. Mm -hmm. Many of you, millions of you, you just don't realize that you're going. And I see some of you going during daytime. It's almost like little, well, I say little, but it's almost like torpedoes hmm. from planet Earth ascending out into space, going wherever you need to go and coming back. How do we do that? It's done automatically. You don't understand it's happening, what it's happening. It's happening during the day. It's happening during the night. It happens when you're at work. It happens at any any time. Mm -hmm. So, are you saying that we are multidimensional? That we yes, I made you this way. Mm. So we can actually be here in this body, and also traveling. Do you honestly think you're just here? <laughs> Do you honestly think you are just in this place and time? You are everywhere, Alba. Can you tell me about that? I can see you. You are a fractal. Trillions of pieces, Alba. Trillions. Mm. Leading different lives in different parts of the universe. You have forgotten, Alba. Mm -hmm. but, I, but I see you. I see you. So does that mean that each one of us... Have you forgotten my love, Alba? Did you forget that I made you? Did you forget about the different spectrums of light that you are? I think many of us have forgotten. I love the hypnosis. Mm. Very clever. Definitely you. Is this a good path for this fractal? Yes. You shine your fractal 
light, your spectrum of light when you do, do this. And out in space, yes, you are incredible. <laughs> I can trace back every single fractal you have made. Mm. And it all leads back to me. How do we connect all of these fractals? There's no need. <laughs> you are strong enough as a fractal piece. Mm. There is no need to connect. It's important for you to realize there's more to this than just one fractal. There's trillions of you everywhere having different experiences at the same time. Mm -hmm. Do these experiences of the other fractals affect all of the fractals? Yes. So when we... But this fractal mm -hmm. here... <laughs> Not like. Are the other ones not so nice? Equally magnificent. Mm. But this one here, mm, I love. I like. Thank you. Did I choose to do this for a reason? Yes, to raise people's awareness. Mm -hmm. So as a fractal, doing this. You're doing great. Mm -hmm. I see it. I see you, what you're doing. It's great. Is there anything that I could do more? You're the path that you are on. Everything's meant to happen exactly how it's meant to happen. There is no changes you need to make. Okay, good. You are set on the path. Mm -hmm. And you will feel... You will fulfill each one of those events that you need to do. Mm -hmm. Very good. You've changed much, mm -hmm. Do you? I think sometimes it amazes you. <laughs> it does. <laughs> it does. So how can I work with this, this one here? To help others. To recognize that he's Metatron. Mm -hmm. Then he is the king of all angels. And he stands tall on planet Earth. Taller than your imagination. Mm -hmm. He's almost like a totem pole. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. A totem pole of light. Yes. Now this Metatron also splits up multi-dimensionally and helps others. Is that right? He's currently here on planet Earth. Okay. He's also with me advising me. Okay. Okay. Because I need him to be here too. Mm -hmm. How is it that Source needs advice? Such great power. Even Source needs to discuss. Even Source needs to bounce ideas. Mm -hmm. I am very mindful and careful not to make mistakes. And we discuss. Not in the way that you see it. Mm -hmm. More round the table, like we're drawing up plans. He knows. He knows where he sits. He knows how important this is. Mm -hmm. So why was he brought here today? Why at this time? The time for forgetting is over. It's time for him to remember. Mm -hmm. He is Metatron. So as a human, what should he be doing? How can he use his power? Be out. Be in public. Share your light. Mm -hmm. He doesn't have to do anything. 
he's not required to do anything, although he feels he has to, mm. which is very amusing. Alva, mm -hmm. <laughs> he only has to walk crowded in a room, mm -hmm. and people, some people recognize and and feel something's different, and others just walk on by like nothing's happened. Mm -hmm. But he shares his light. Now he was wondering if he was going to be transmitting some light codes to humanity. He does that in massive waves mm -hmm. already. The way I dis can describe it is he's he senses codes and waves of light. Mm -hmm. They're not constant, they're waves. He does this out in public as well. Mm. When he's out in public, he's transmitting waves, waves of light. Mm -hmm. And how do these waves affect people? It's different for everyone. Mm. Okay. Let me give you an example. There's one particular lady I can see. And what's happened is planted a seed through his wave of light. She has no idea that this has happened. Mm. She's walked on by, thinking about her children, but that seed has been planted. That seed will grow, and it will change her. It will change her connection to the light. Are these children different? Yes. Can you tell me what's happened with Higher these energy. Mm-hmm. It's funny because they don't really need to learn, it's already there within them. Mm, so they're plug and play? <laughs> it's very funny, Alpha. <laughs> yes, they're like on standby. Mm -hmm. They're waiting. They're waiting to come online, as you would say. Mm -hmm. That's the best kind of way I can describe it to you. Mm -hmm. They're dormant at the moment. There are some, you know, with ADHD, mm -hmm. call them. One of the things you don't, don't realize is how creative they are. They're very crea creative. They already know. They're learning, they're learning through, through this high level of energy to control it. To use it, to manipulate it. Mm -hmm. So, uh, right now, there's many who are being drugged in order to make them calm down. My light will wash that all away. Hmm. Okay. So we don't need to worry about that. No. These are very powerful. It's, it's amusing to think that would make a difference. Because the, the light with them is too powerful. It's 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 a little. It's a, the light is so strong within them. Uh, the best way I can describe it is like a drug would be like a virus, and and because the light is so strong, it just bats it to one side as as is not important. And this is where the efficacy of the drugs mm -hmm. don't work mm -hmm. as a result. They, they are strong. They're here to lead. Mm -hmm. They're here to show you how to play with the light, how to create with it. So they are, in fact, our teachers. Definitely. Mm -hmm. What about those that are autistic? Is that a different thing? Yeah, slightly damaged mm -hmm. from what I can see. The light's just not flowing. It's the connection to the brain. Mm -hmm. The connection from the light to the brain. Is your light going to change that? It's going to reset you all. Mm -hmm. And what about those that have mental illness? What is causing that? It's something you... The best way to, to describe it is what you call demons in some ways. Mm -hmm. 
negative beings. Mm -hmm. So what advice would you give Nilesh in working with these? He doesn't have to do anything. He doesn't. He just needs to be with them, sitting with him. Mm -hmm. You you feel relaxed. Mm -hmm. You feel calm. You feel like everything is going to be okay. Mm -hmm. Where do you think that light comes from? (laughs) Good, good. Is there anything else that you wanted to tell him today? Never forget I love you. Mm-hmm. Is there a way that you, Source, can transmit through Nilesh some of your light now? We've been doing it the whole time. Very good. Thank you. Is there anything else that you would like to say today? Or are we complete? Just how much I love you, Alba. Mm-hmm. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure. Mm-hmm. Something else. Mm-hmm. Let me see. <laughs> I see you in the universe, Alba. Mm-hmm. Magnificent. Think you've forgotten about the fractals of yourself. Thank you for acknowledging them to me. Are we complete? Yes, we are done. Thank you so much. Wow, that was a bit mad. <laughs> oh. How do you feel? Uh, like, like coursing of energy, like through every kind of fiber. It feels really weird mm. and a bit kind of numb, and still kind of like get it together. A bit shaking going on. Yeah. Feel like you were plugged into the power source? Oh, it was like, yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like I had no control over that. <laughs> yeah, I had no control over that. It was just, mm-hmm. yeah, it was really intense. really intense. Do you feel that you got what you needed today? You know, the funny thing is, I've known all along. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. yeah. But you didn't want to recognize it? Or admit it? It's the humility, I think. Mm-hmm. Part of it's that and... Mm-hmm. And such the enormity of the task, I think. Yeah. But yeah, that was pretty, pretty amazing. Pretty intense, huh? <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure I want to do that again. <laughs> <laughs> was it a little bit different than your guided meditations? Yeah, very. <laughs> It was trying to get the kind of ego out. It was so dif- difficult for me. Mm-hmm. And I was trying to see what was beyond. Because I can remember the first life and I can still visual. It's still there. Yeah. But just trying to get information was so, so difficult. That wasn't what you came here for. That was, just, that was just an appetizer. <laughs> yeah. That I can't. wasn't the full meal. <laughs> Yeah, I, you were just given something for you to see, but that wasn't really. That was just for you to see that you had been in other places, and yeah, I, the matches definitely seems to be the, the the stuff that I'm remembering in my dreams is mm. real. It's not mm-hmm. something that's made up. And if I'm having a, you know, if I'm doing meditation and I'm having a visual, a, a vision, of, mm-hmm. then I just need to trust it rather than thinking, oh, no, that can't be right. <laughs> <laughs> like, really? <laughs> I don't think so. But well. yeah, it, it's very, very bizarre. It's like when he, when, like Source Father was descri- describing this totem pole. It is mm. exactly that. Mm. It's very, very tall, very big. very tall. Like can be seen, kind of Forever. above planet Earth. Yeah, <laughs> it's very, very strange. Mm-hmm. And 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 the other thing I, I realized today is that we communicate through light. So we're communicating all the time, but I'm not conscious of it. Right. N- none of us are. 
and I know I was sent here. <laughs> it's a very kind of not cool thing to say when you sit next next to Father, and mm -hmm. he, he's right. I've seen this. I've it's a vision, a vision. This, but I don't. I kind of feel no. That, that's, that can't be right. How can that be? It doesn't make sense. Why, why me? You, you, mm -hmm, right. Yeah. I understand why me. Yeah. Because the the, the light in me is very pure. Yes. Um. But uh, uh, I. Yeah. yeah. I don't like the ego that goes with this. I think it's the ego aspect of it I really mm -hmm. struggle with. Well, the ego is always like the it. one that's going to to fight you on this. Yeah, and I'm fighting the ego mm -hmm. a lot with this. But mm -hmm. And yeah. this is where you have to trust. Yeah. And perhaps getting out of the concrete jungle is going to help you. I get the distinct impression that once it's done, I'm gone. Mm -hmm. I leave. Yeah. I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> I just know. Doesn't go. matter. <laughs> I suppose it doesn't matter. It doesn't really. matter because we're everywhere anyway. Yeah. That's what that's what uh, source was telling is that you know there's trillions of fractals and the fractals of you are really mm -hmm. fascinating. Yeah, it was like. What did you see when it you? It was like um, instead of it being like a. A whoosh of light. It's a whoosh of like crystal, mm. and it's like you're you're fractaling out in so many <laughs> different areas. But you're you're all very similar, and the right. essence of you is very much you. Mm. Uh, but yeah, father really likes you doing this. The the feeling I was getting was like, yeah, he, he likes it because he feels like you're playing. Oh, <laughs> The impression that I felt it was yes. like oh, the album playing. Yes, <laughs> you know, it was like it's so nice to see. Yeah. It, he's very proud as well. I would get that feeling from him, and he was also sort of saying that there's such a big contrast between what you're do what you're doing and compared to what he showed me. He is really weird and horrible. I didn't like it. Mm. It was like if you can imagine a concrete block mm -hmm. that's hollow inside. Mm -hmm. He showed me that um, he, he just sees human adults, mm. you know, not children. It was adults like curled up in the fetal position in these in blocks. Mm. And that's what I was seeing. Like tombs. And this is, yeah, this is what he's describing. Yeah. That this is what he sees. That the 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 concrete is it's so thick that nothing's penetrating it. Mm -hmm. And that may be the reason why I have a need to travel. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> yeah, that's the other impression I got is that there are some lights and some parts of the planet that are just so much more mm -hmm. full of light, full mm -hmm. of energy mm -hmm. compared to others. Yes. There's not many, is the impression mm. that I feel, but they are there, and they're like the best way to describe it is fountain of youth. Mm. Really, it kind of, you know, you want to stay there, you don't want to leave. Right, because there's so much light there. Yeah. So, is this something you want to share? I <laughs> oh, hear, yeah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit, I'm not sure. <laughs> Me is like no, <laughs> like this is crazy. And your father is saying, "Oh yes." He's saying, "Yeah." Mm -hmm. It needs to go out because he's saying it's time for you to remember. Mm -hmm. Stop hiding. Yeah, that's and what I think we all do. Yeah, he's saying stop hiding. The time for hiding and mm -hmm. is over. But I need to remember. I've been avoiding this for a long time because I didn't want to remember because. Because of this, mm -hmm. because of what who you are and mm -hmm. and what I am, I, I still find it weird that God needs an advisor. Is why not? It's just. But even I, you know, I mess up. You know, I do things that are wrong sometimes, and that's why yeah. I. That's what we all do. I need the anchor. I need mm -hmm. that person to say it's wrong. Don't do that. You did great. Thank you. A bit freaked out by it. Come on, guys. Need a bit. Right. Need a hug. Yeah, I do. Yeah. <laughs> you did wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. So tell everybody how you feel. I feel a little bit woozy. I did. I feel like there's 
every kind of vein and nerve in my body is just pulsating at the moment and is coursing of energy that I just have no control over at the moment. Um, Are you doing a lot of shaking? Yeah. Were you cold? The body was cold, but um, there was a lot of energy going, mm -hmm. going through there. Because many people would say, oh, well, he's just freezing, put a blanket on him. No, there was... It was when you connect to source, you have to be dampened down a bit. You can't have it. <laughs> you can't have it in its fullest form. It, it's just too powerful. Yes. For especially for this body, and and, and I, I when I meditate, I sometimes have the jerking, so mm -hmm. I do get that. Yes. But it, I had no control over that. It was just happening whether I wanted it to happen or not. The experience was nothing like meditation I've done before. <laughs> Now, you had never been officially hypnotized before. No, I haven't, no. You've done, you said, guided meditations? Yeah, yeah, I've done that before. So what was the difference between that and what we did today? It's deeper, and it's more clearer as well. And I do think you're right, getting that ego out of the way. I'm, I'm slightly annoyed with myself because it's, <laughs> it's like, if I just kind of just went with it and stopped trying to control everything, mm. you know, they, you. it would have just been fine, you know, it would have just taken me exactly where I needed to go. But practice makes perfect and we could do this another time. Yeah. And you know you could be, you're very hypnotizable. Yeah. Yeah, it's like you're there but you're not there, <laughs> <laughs> if you know what I mean. No, you probably don't. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you had a hypnosis session, you might say that. Yeah. But you may leave here and say, I made this all up. No, Source's energy is strong. There is no denying that energy. There's mm -hmm. no denying his sense of humor. He's funny. <laughs> um, he, he, yeah, he wanted, I distinctly got the impression he wanted to come through today and, yeah. and kind of want to speak to you and just let you guys know that you've got some work to do and it's not just upon us. To hold everything together you guys have got to try mm -hmm. and basically the the message is you're not trying hard enough try harder mm -hmm. whatever that means you know whether yeah. that's meditation yoga changing your diet whatever it takes getting out of your house yeah that's the yeah get in touch with nature again because seeing like Gaia how she should be is nothing like this nothing like this no it's just forest. It's like the Amazon jungle. It's identical to that, but everything's like everything's energy, and everything's yeah. kind of like you touch it, but you're exchanging energy, and it's all like you've got this impression where the Amazon's like got snakes and spiders and various things, but on that place, there's nothing like that. You're just connecting mm -hmm. with one another, like an avatar. Yeah, very much like that. You're one with everything. Mm -hmm. So you become. Um, you become friends with nature, is really what, what it's all you, about. It's all, you are nature. It's like you already have that. Yes, that uh, connection. That relationship. It's just, it's important for you just to reestablish it. Yes. And, and remember, mm -hmm. you know, so socks off and shoes off and walk on the grass. Mm -hmm. Go out and hug a tree. Yeah, walk on the grass for a bit, see if that changes you. Yeah. So how is this going to change you now? I'm not going to doubt every time I have... <laughs> Of you know a, vi a vision instead of saying yeah oh, I still can't get mad about it. It's going to take you a while to. It's like it's very bizarre to think that you are Metatron. Metatron. Yeah, it's very bizarre, and like the angels, like you know, they answer to Metatron, and it's mm -hmm. I just want that really strange. It's, I've known that, but. Well, I'll tell you a story. When I first started this, I didn't know anything about angels yeah. at all. And in one of my meditations, I was told that I had four angels that were working with me. Yeah. Michael. Yeah. Raphael. Yeah. Gabriel. Yeah, I've got him. And Metatron. Oh. And I said, Wonderful. who's Metatron? Yeah. You know, I never heard of Metatron before. And Metatron was going to be like really my main guide yes but he was kind of like out of the picture yeah so i never really asked for metatron to, to come in or anything but metatron was i'm getting all shaky now by the way <laughs> whatever he's doing i'm feeling like, right, and and again. and metatron was part of it and i never really pursued it but i always right. had metatron and, and metatron has come out in a few of my sessions mm. but this one kind of like 
really hit it home and going, oh, now I understand. Yeah. I didn't say anything during the session. Yeah. But, you know. It's, it's very clear to me. It was clear to me that this was going to happen. And I'm now, I'm like, now I'm shaking. Yeah. Um, in, because we're sharing energy. Yeah, I know. It's like I'm bubbling. I feel like a seven up all over. <laughs> 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 and yeah. these bubbles. I do that to people. Yeah. yeah. And, and this is what happens during these sessions. People wonder what, you know, what is it that you're feeling? And it's, it's energy. It's all energy. Yeah. The, the, the impression I got when I was mm -hmm. with source, God, I'll call him Father, for yeah. me that's what he is, mm -hmm. is if you're going into battle, you send your best warrior. Mm -hmm. That's the impression I got. Yeah. So, And it's not just me, but it's all of them. And with us, with all of us together as one, mm -hmm. we are far more powerful than just one. That's right. So, And that's one of my things that why I'm going around the world trying to gather these light workers together. Oh, he loves that. Right? Yeah. He, he He's like, he finds it amusing. <laughs> He's got a funny sense of humor. He's like, yeah, it's just Alvin doing a hypnosis thing. Go, go. <laughs> and and said so the the events and the whole idea about the events is bringing these lights together in one yeah. room. Imagine how powerful it is. Yeah. We don't have to do anything. Yeah. Just be. Yeah. And when we gather these people together, oh, the, the 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 light that is just being emitted from that one place yeah. is amazing. So that's what I'm kind of doing now yeah. is trying to go to different parts of the world and just getting people together that would never be together. They, they're just light workers and they wouldn't know they should. Metatron. So they you know they're in a room and they just are are activated. Yeah. So if you would like a session with me, just go to my website, albawyman.com. Mm. Go to the hypnosis tab there. You need to sign up for my newsletter because that's the only way that I book sessions mm -hmm. is through my newsletter. And also through my newsletter, you'll find out where I'll be traveling and doing these events. So try to make your way to one of these events. They're all different. It doesn't matter what we're going to be doing there. It's just our energy. We just want to have this nice gathering. Yeah. Okay. And you'll know if you need to. Because you will just know. You'll just know. I need to be there. Yeah. So I, be there. I've waited like a year and a half, I think. For there this. you go. Yeah. It's all divine timing. It is. It's meant to happen exactly when it's happened. And, and yeah, so if it's going to happen. It's going to happen. That's you it. You ain't got control over it. It's happening. <laughs> <laughs> so right now we are in the UK. Yeah. And are you from here? I am, yeah. I don't actually live in Southend on sea, mm -hmm. um, but I live in the Leicestershire area. So. Okay. Yeah. Um, so if any of these folks would like to get a hold of you, yeah, would it be okay for them to share that information and I could pass it on to you? Yeah, of course. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. That's, yeah, definitely. Of course. So you if you want to, if you want to get a hold of him and just share energy with him, yeah, just go to my website and just say, hey, I want to connect with Metatron. Yeah. And then we'll pass on the information. For the right reasons. For the right reasons. That's right. There's not a dating show. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. Until the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs> <Yep. laughs> oh, that's so good. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Amazing session. Mm.